How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Down to Earth with Christian Harloff. That's me, Christian Harloff. Thanks for joining us here today. And I wanted to thank you guys because over the weekend we hit 25,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. We've been going for that. So now I guess we'll go for 50. So we're trying for 50,000 subscribers. I hope that you guys are enjoying the content, part of the content, putting your comments in there, clicking that like button, and asking questions like we are. That's the most important. There's a lot of things heating up. There's a lot of different topics that we could have done today. And we're going to cover quite a few of them on the UAP Tuesday show on my main channel, which I'm considering bringing to this channel. Not sure yet, considering it. But right now, every Tuesday on the main Christian Harloff channel in the mornings, Tuesday, 9 a.m., you can catch that show there. Pavel is actually going to be in with me there tomorrow. And we're going to be doing a, a full hour-long show on all the topics that are going down in the latest on UAPs. One of the things that we are going to talk about, but I wanted to talk about it here first, was this coverage of this UAP that was in Georgia. Security cameras caught this thing. And we've covered things like this before, whether it was the New York flight or a few other ones, but this is a pretty clear image. So let me show you this video. This is uh, Skyfire News that posted this. Let's let's watch this footage and we'll talk about what we think it could be. Here it is. The color starlight camera I'm using is a 4K camera. These are some close-up videos I got of the smaller UFO probes. I think there were three of them flying around me yesterday evening. A lot of the cameras are on a tower so they can see the whole area. Um, I, I really want to talk to scientists or anyone high up in the government that is trying to figure out what is going on with all the UFOs and UAPs all over the place and want to get the information out to the public. So you see this thing kind of flying around. This is over. I'm looking for scientists that are studying the UFOs that would be interested in helping me show this to the world. See it kind of zipping back and forth there. It's, it's the way that it's moving is bizarre. Kind of bouncing back and forth. There's a little flash that it's got there too. It just kind of like does this like little wave, like back and forth, like little it's floating. It zips back around as that second flash. And all right, so all of that, watching that whole thing, and you see that footage, which has been confirmed to be real, and I don't know, maybe the corridor crew will say it and say, no, that's not real. But I, nonetheless, and I, I, I can't, I really like the corridor crew. I just think that they say, you know, whenever, whenever, anytime that they say something's not real, everyone just takes it as, as gospel. But the, this particular thing, I don't think they've even seen it. Um, but my point is, that it is actual footage. Now, whether it is NHI or alien or whatever it might be, I don't necessarily think that is the case. I think that it is technology that we very well might have gotten from NHI that we may have been working throughout these reverse engineering program. To me, that seems more um, likely in this scenario that I mean, I'm the more and more that I've been following this thing, the anti gravity stuff, and the, the things you hear about certain scientists that were working on it, and other things that uh, the documentary that or the video that Jesse Michaels did on um, T Towns and Brown. And there is something to that, I think. And I do feel that the stuff that's going to come out with if we do get public hearings, I feel like the major focus the major focus in those hearings will be the reverse engineering stuff and if that turns out to be true that that's what they're going to do it's things like this that if let's say hypothetically they've been working on a reverse engineering program since the 40s and they've managed to get some kind of technology working throughout that something like that whatever the hell that was because even if you say that was a drone which is very possible what the hell kind of drone moves like that? What the hell kind of drone zips back and forth? And I mean, that it, 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 it's flashing and it's doing this kind of like weird, like, and, a, and in the video, the guy says like, there's two or three of them. And what else can it do? 
what's it doing over there? Why is there so many different sightings? So there's more to it. There's definitely more to it. But I, but I know, I'm sure there's people writing articles. That say, it's a balloon. It's gas. I, I don't know how that is a balloon or gas, but I'd like to see what it is. Well, what do you think it is? I'm that. That's where I'm very curious. Put your comments in there and tell me. What do you think that is? Do you think that it is technology that's been worked on? Is it something that we've been working on for a while? Yeah, it's technology we're working on, dummy, but it doesn't mean that it's uh, it's NHI. It means that we just have this type of technology that we figured out that got caught by these uh, security cameras or it's none of the above. It's just a freaking drone. Stop making it into more than it should be or it's balloon or it's gas. So what do you guys think? Put your comments in there. Tell me exactly what you think. I want to know. And as I said before, they're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers. So make sure you put your comments in there. Tell me exactly what you think it is. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We'll be back here tomorrow with a video. But also remember that we're doing our full on show. It is called UAP Tuesdays. It's on my main channel. I have a link for the playlist on this channel. You go to the homepage here and you can see every episode that we had. I had Thomas Jane. That's right. The Punisher himself was on last week. Really fun episode. Hope you check that out. All right. Thanks for joining us here today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. The other day, my wife walked in. She said, whoa, where those jeans come from? Those are amazing. Those are nice. I said, that's right. It's the perfect jean, baby. Love the perfect jean. The perfect jean makes great-looking, perfect-fitting jeans, and they're stretchy, and they're they're nice, and they, they, they hug your assets in the perfect place. They really do. It's got special denim fabric. It's very soft. It's really great. I've been wearing these, and it's super comfortable, and they look good. And that's what I needed, and I got it. Trust us when we say these really are the perfect jeans. Because once you try them, you're never going to go back. For a limited time only, my listeners are going to get 15% off their first order plus free shipping. But you got to go to theperfectgene.nyc or Google the perfect gene and use the code DTE for 15% off. I love it. I put them on, and I was I was curious at first because they were like stretchy jeans. Do those work? And they do. They feel super comfortable. They look good, and I like wearing them. Super stretchy. And great. I felt good, man. Felt good wearing them. And I can move around in them. And I like that. They fit great. Make sure you go to theperfectgene.nyc and use that code DTE. 15% off. Get it.